Hello folks. How are things going? Alright, I just got the delivery. So today I'm not going to speak about the tops. I'm going to speak about the stands. So I got this stand, uh, just got delivered this one. So I have purple stands. Um, since a while now. So I got these two here, one for electric, one for acoustic, I'll show them very quickly. But then I needed a stand that pulls a couple of guitars at the same time. You get the same system from Heracol which goes in the wall where you need to drill, hang it like in your guitar shop basically. So let me show you, well, I'm not gonna unbox this. So this is basically how this thing looks like. And this is the reference of the stand GS. 432B. Alright, okay, let's look at this then. So, I just literally received it. So, I'm going to unbox it here and see how it looks like to get unboxed. And I think we got the stand. And that's it, nothing else. So, that, that's what we got here. So here, get this one stand here. Mm -hmm. oh. There we go. Um, it's quite strutty. The thing I like about hair is that you got this really strutty metal there. So there's no case of going to loosen it up a little bit. Try to open it. So I think we need two hands. Yeah, that's it. There you go. Just lock it. Then it has some sort of a sticker here that has the model. So yeah, so these are the three models. I'll take a picture of it and keep it there. Um, this is the one that I just got today. And um, so it holds three guitars, there are others which hold two, and then there is another which hold one and one. All right, so I say stands you can trust. I do trust them. I get a couple of products from them. And by the way, I'm not being paid to say this. So this is my independent review. I have paid for this stand for myself and got it online. Uh, let's see how it looks like. So it's pretty neat. Okay, there's a wire here that needs to be removed. Okay, this one goes down. It's supposed to fix the guitar. And then this one goes up. And you can go pretty high. So I think it can hold even a long neck bass guitar here. That's good. Yeah, let's see how it goes. So and then you get the locking system. So the simple locking system here. So just need to pull it. So the moment you pull it, you see it's gonna click. There you go. So this little piece of metal falls down. You need to pull it in order to close it. And then when you open it, expand it, it's locked. So that helps the system. It's pretty strutty actually, it's all metal. You can feel that. And there's a little arrow here, as you can see, that tells you to pull this way. That's basically it. So I'm gonna do three of them and this the part here holds it okay so this one goes off so once you put it you don't really need it you can either remove it i'm gonna keep it here just for the sake of not losing it okay and then there is this part so this part is quite interesting because this is the part that's gonna hold your guitar at the bottom so that you don't damage it so this part here has a very interesting system it's a lock system so when you expand it it's going to lock. I'm going to open this one here, this one here, this one here, and you can see it's locked. So it's perfect. So let's put some guitars on here. See, so you can see clearly the tank. I'm going to put it down a bit. Need all that. Uh, I think this reasonable height for the guitars. Turn. Okay, I'm going to put an acoustic. So this is quite big. Let's see how it turned up. I think I might need to pull it up a little bit further. Oh, Alright, so it should be alright here. So let's, let's see where it lands. Okay, so this is the locking system from Heracle. Um, you get the same ones for the wall mount as well. And they are really good. I, I really like them. I have a few of them. Um, I hang a few of them in the wall. I fixed a few of them in the wall since years now. They are very, very good. Um, yeah, let's get, let's put some other stars in it. I'll put 
Then turn it slightly. I'll put the last one here. So it's quite a heavy guitar, so the length is perfect. It falls the guitar at the bottom. I'll show you in a minute. And then I'll put. Uh, You know what? I put this one. In. So let me turn it gently so I can show you. Oh, there you go. And I'll put a Niester 330 here. So let's see how it is. There you go. It's locked. It's good. So it's that's it. So it's basically a good, good system to manage. It. So you can see here, it's quite sturdy. It's wide, so it has a good base. And um, yeah, it's an alternative to just having your guitars placed separately. That's it. So um, I'll show you another alternative, by the way. This one is a good one as well. So this is for three guitars, and I'll show you this one here. So this one, I got it since a while now. It's, it's pretty portable. That's what I love about it. So you get the system here, which folds all together. And you got it in one single piece and it's very 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 strong metal actually i love i love i love these products so i keep used them for for years now and just very happy with them so you get a piece of foam which is thick enough to hold the guitar and protect it and these pieces of foam here as well so they hold your guitar so this one is for an electric guitar so you see the the uh the depth not that high so it keeps the guitar very well in place that's why I'm using it for this strat here. And I'll show you the acoustic one. So this is the acoustic model. So you see the depth is very much bigger than the, uh, than the other one. So this one holds my, my Gibson acoustic guitar, which is quite wide guitar. So same principle. Um, that's it. So. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, this is a little tip about how to store your guitars and keep them in display while you, while you enjoy them. Alright, have fun. Good day. Ciao. Alright, one last thing. By the way, if you like this video and you find it useful, just hit that like button. Alright? Cheers.